So today I'm going to do um, free response question number 6 from 2016 BC calculus free response uh, exam. So um, so uh, the function of f has a Taylor series about x equals to 1 that covers to fx for all x in the interval of conversions. And it is known that f1 equals to 1, f prime 1 equals to negative 1 half and n derivative of x at x equals to 1 is given by this for n larger or equals to 2. So we write the first four non-zero terms and general term of Taylor series of for f about x equals to 1. So um, in order to write the Taylor series we need to find um, f prime f um, double prime f uh, triple prime and we already know that f prime 1 equals to negative 1 half and for f double prime 1 we would need to just plug in we need to plug 2 into n so therefore for f double prime 1 I got negative 1 to the 2 times 2 minus 1 over uh, 2 minus 1 factorial over 2 to the 2 equals to 1 fourth and f triple prime 1 will be equals to negative 1 to the third uh, and then it will equals to negative 1 fourth so in this case, uh, what am I going to do is to apply them to the Taylor series formula, which is so the Taylor series formula is usually um, f x plus f 1 x times x minus 1 over 1 factorial plus f double prime x x minus well actually it's not x minus 1 it's x minus a it could be the constant like in this each specific problem where 2 factorial plus dot 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 so in this formula I'm going to do as I know that f1 equals to 1 so f0 prime x will be 1 and then I already have um, f prime 1 which is negative 1 half so I made it like that and it was about x equals to 1 so it will be x minus 1 and then I'll plug in what I have here so this is already the first four non-zero term and I'm going to simplify it a little bit to make it look like this and therefore um, the general term can also be uh, induced here so the first four terms are here and the general term is here. Okay, B X as to uh, the Taylor series for X about one has a radius of convergence of two and find the interval of convergence. So finding interval of convergence is easy going to prove it. The interval uh, since it says the radius is 2 and is centered at x equals to 1 then we know that um, x minus 1 will be less than 2 or and then we'll have negative 1 less than x less than 3 and this is the interval of convergence and then we need to 
prove it. In order to prove it, we're going to we're going to plot these two numbers in in order to see if they converge or not. And if one side converges, the other side diverges, then we know that this is the interval of convergence. So first I'm going to test x equals to 3. So when x equals to 3, the general term will be equals to we'll be simplifying this form and then uh, we know that this thing converges because as even though it um, oscillated since there's a negative one to the end um, as n get really large it goes the whole factor will go to zero so it converges and then let's test when x equals to negative one So from this point we can see this is alternating series so it will definitely diverges and therefore the we prove that the interval of convergence is negative one less than x less than three. That's the interval of convergence. So let's move on to C. So C Access to find f uh, using the first three non zero terms to find f 1.2, f of 1.2. So the first three non zero terms, which we just plug 1.2 into x in this formula, and what I got is well, I got this and then you calculate it and it will be 181 over 200 okay so this problem only has only d left d want us to approximate I uh, want to show that if the approximation of f1.2 we found in part c is within 0 0.001 um, of the exact value of f of 1.2. So as we know that um, 1.2 lies in the interval of convergence of negative 1 less than x less than 3 and also by the alternating series estimation theorem the approximation differs from the exact value by less than the absolute value of the fourth the next term in this case it will be the fourth term and since we already have first three terms the fourth term will be and as you calculate it it will be 1 over 3000 and we can tell that 1 over 3000 is actually less than 1 over 1000 1 over 1000 is 0 0.01 so therefore um, the approximation in part C is within the point 001 of exact value of f1.2. Okay, that's it. Thank you.